big hits are kind of why we watch, right? It's what attracts players to the game of football. But hard hits don't have to be dangerous. Former Bruin defensive back Bobby Jose has crafted a very nice career in Hollywood. But of late, he's turned his attention to an aspect of the game that he believes few coaches know enough about. Wrap up, wrap up, wrap up, wrap up. This game is not about destruction. This game is about building character, physical fitness, toughness, intestinal fortitude, all those things. Take for a ride, I go for a ride, get the hair. I'm a father first and my son was 12 and he said, Daddy, I'm ready to play tackle football back in 1997. And I said, okay, I'm gonna take you up and sign you up, and, but I'm gonna help out because I don't want you to get hurt. And the president knew my name, he was a Bruin fan, which is cool. And I, I said, I'd like to help out. He says, you're the head coach. And now I went from one little kid that I was you know, scared to death for, and now I have 25. Bobby Hosea was a defensive back at UCLA in 1977 and 78. Following three years in the Canadian Football League, he returned to California, where he has enjoyed a successful career as an actor, appearing in more than 70 TV shows and movies. It was his role as a father, however, which led him to his most important assignment. I started doing the research. Then I started seeing all these injuries that result directly from people hitting with their head. And I just was on fire to go out and share what I knew for I had been doing since 97 with the rest of the world. The research that Bobby found showed that one in 100,000 high school football players suffers a serious spinal cord injury. Last year, more than 1.1 million kids played high school football. It was his belief that the majority of these injuries could be avoided if the proper tackling technique was taught at the lower levels of the sport. And the time to do so was now. 85% of all football-related brain injuries on every level of football competition happen in practice. These numbers need to be a wake-up call for us, not just to hear them, but to do something about it. All you got to do is look at the offensive line, for example. If you're a guard, you're going to read the front of the defensive front. You've got to step with a certain foot. You've got to engage the opponent in a certain part of his body. You've got to hit him with a certain part of your shoulder to get work up to the linebacker. That's very intricate detail, right? Where's tackling? Why doesn't tackling have that same sort of detailed approach? That's the part that everybody stays away from, but I've, I've focused on it primarily. Number one was to keep the kids safe. I didn't want to see a baby that couldn't get up. I want to have my eyes below the face mask of the ball carrier because the ball carrier acts first. And when I rip and shoot my arms, it's going to bring my hips forward, rock my head away, and I'm going to hit with my shoulders. We call it strike plate, shoulder tip to shoulder tip, just under your chin. So every time you go into a pile with your head down, you're really playing Russian roulette with your life, with your health, with your well-being. Every time. I learned to keep my head up and to rip and not wrap. Not to use my head in the tackle. Other kids should come to this camp because you can tackle correctly so you won't get a brain injury in football. When you think about it, kids are putting on pads and tackling as young as seven years old. Those are babies. What's at stake here is my son's life and the life of his family. Horrible stuff happens when safety goes out the window when it comes to tackling. Having organized uh, groups that can teach the proper way to tackle to minimize the, the use of the head, uh, that's a key thing. In the last 14 years, Bobby has instructed more than 1,000 kids and coaches his proper tackling technique and opened an academy in 2006 where each year hundreds of young football players learn the safe way to play. Well, I've created a system of training, full speed game simulated tackle training that allows you to react to every move that a ball carrier makes and finish the play. See, this is the only thing that we don't finish is tackling. We don't tackle full speed, and you have to practice like you play. What? Which, under the leadership and vision of Bobby Hosea, uh, pioneered the development of helmet free, or what some people call heads up tackling. In order to change an existing paradigm, you do not struggle to try and change the problematic model. You create a new model and make the old one obsolete. Richard Buckminster Fuller, owner of 24 Patents. There's time to have a standardized tackling progression all across the board. Right now, tackling is a Heinz 57 approach. 
whatever your grandfather taught your dad that's what he taught you so that's what you're teaching them but we know now that's antiquated there's things that are dangerous so number one is educate the coaches i believe in rough games and in rough manly sports i do not feel any particular sympathy for a person who gets battered about a good deal so long as it's not fatal teddy roosevelt For years, players were taught to block and tackle using their heads. Between 1931 and 2011, 678 high school players died, two-thirds from helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact. The number of players who suffer long-term brain injuries is unknown. The effects of improper tackling are still being felt today. Football right now is undergoing its third major crisis, and it's the concussion crisis, a topic which I think is of great importance at all levels of sport, but certainly even more so for our youth. Uh, our role, or my role as medical director at USA Football, is to hopefully promote a better, safer game. And as we've implemented the Heads Up Football Tackling uh, program, which has fit uh, just along with uh, Bobby's program, which I think is awesome. Uh, when, you, when you watch those videos and teaching techniques, they're all very similar. Bobby's here, and I love what he's done with the tackling for youngsters. Technique is a huge thing if taught properly, can avoid a lot of unnecessary head trauma. Much of it happens with poor technique. The time in football, which has never been done, ever, in the, in the history of the sport, where all coaches have been brought under some similar heading to teach similar techniques, to learn the youth, and how to, to advance those into upper level high school and college and, and professional sports. Technique of tackling, like Bobby isn't asking, isn't done. We're just asking, don't bash heads to do it. And I think that goes back to that teaching point with our coaches and our administrators and not going through the motions and saying, okay, hey, we did Bobby's program for one day, and now we're going to go back to the old Oklahoma drill, that we eliminate those things and continue to advance and go back to the basics. This goes back to, again, some of the greatest coaches in the history of all sports. What do they always continue to reiterate over and over? fundamentals. More inventive things like that, um, and like Bobby ha has done, that's what we need, I believe. We, we just can't be doing it with live bodies. The, the price is too high to pay. It would be a great thing to have these clinics put on by college pro high school coaches when they teach kids and tackle. I think by emphasizing the proper technique, starting with young kids, the technique of never using your head as a projectile uh, never hitting with your head down. I think if we're able to keep emphasizing that, then I think we'll make a big difference. Uh, I'm not saying I would have gotten hurt or not. I'm just saying that if a lot of kids knew the proper way to tackle, then that would help prevent a lot more injuries. You've got these parents that are putting these players in your hands, their lives in your hands, their safety in your hands. They're relying on you to keep them safe. I love football. I love the sport. I love what it does for kids. I love what it does for my, my child. But I want to continue to play. And play safely, play correctly, and have fun at the end and everyone walk off that field. So there's this fellow in California named Bobby Hosea who has all but given his life to teaching kids how to tackle more safely so that football can continue in much the same way it always has with kids getting hurt less often by keeping their head up and out of the tackle. See, I ain't never hit nobody with my head. I ain't putting my head in there. That's what you should teach your kid. Watch their head. Keep that head up. That's what you're teaching.
in your chair. He sounds like a drill sergeant. Don't drop your head. Barking out commands. Right foot and hole. Watch these two guys. Wings. Back toe. Sink. Lamb down. Explode those hips. Hit boom. Good. I don't want the head to go down. Reinforcing tackling techniques that could keep someone from getting seriously hurt. The way you tackle, which will keep you safe. Okay, there's no accidents. Brain injuries are not accidents. People get paralyzed in football, it's not an accident. Bobby Hosea is the founder and coach of Train Em Up Academy, a tackling camp that teaches kids a 12-step tackling method. The one-time UCLA defensive back who played professionally in Canada and the U.S. Football League created his tackling program back in 1997. In 2011, a study was done on his method. There was a scientific research study done on my tackling technique. It showed a 43% reduction in helmet first impact. That was 100% of the crown. That's where all the problems are. You take the crown out of the tackle, you take out a multitude of injuries. Tired of it. 